keep your guard up. Each of these videos has a scary surprise that I bet you won't see coming. Number 11. Hey, Chill's Cousin here. Old Guy Garage is a YouTube channel that only talks about his Lamborghini Mirsalago, with the exception of this video. He's returning from an expo in Orlando, Florida, when a woman in all white appears on the side of the road. She walks at a brisk pace but goes nowhere, seemingly frozen in place and possibly in time too, judging from her dress which doesn't look modern at all. Now, for the part that will surprise you, Old Guy Garage says that he was passing by a 200 year old cemetery. So, a figure in all white is roaming outside of a cemetery at 1126 at night, with no flashlight and no reason to be out here on a lonely stretch of road. I don't think anything else needs to be said. Number 10. This cat is by itself when it reacts to a passing shadow that creeps across the room at an angle that's all weird and wrong. These two areas never darken so it wasn't a person walking by. The shadow is from something in the room, something that crawls in from the ceiling. Now here's the most surprising part of all. The uploader says that woman passed away in this house not too long ago. Could this be her ghost? I think so. Number 9. This haunted mansion in Belgium is said to be frequented by a troubled spirit. A woman in a white dress who a YouTuber named Jeff Stetics World intends to prove the existence of. It's 12am when he finds a single white shoe that looks like it would definitely match the woman wearing a white dress. Her missing shoe, combined with the way these chairs were turned over, indicates a struggle, quite possibly an ambush. The furniture in all other rooms is mostly untouched, like this chair in the next room over, but the room with the shoe is in complete disarray. On the second floor banging noises are heard, and a general bad feeling lingers in the air. Maybe it's just me, but I think it sounds like a person running with one shoe, the woman in white herself. I'm going to explore this with my time. I get the impression that she's playing with his mind. The harder he looks, the more she hides. Yo. Hello? On the lamp, on the lamp. There's a noise from behind at the same time his camera focuses on something in front of him, although there's nothing there. It feels like he's being watched up close. I'm a squeeze blurry. There's still so many rooms left to explore, but his flashlight is mysteriously low on batteries despite just changing them. The spirit continues to elude him, but it accidentally slips up and reveals itself here. Surprisingly, her true form is that of an all-black demon, not a lady in white. So is this midnight ghost sighting real, or was it just one of his friends walking by? Did he find her shoe, or plant it there himself? I can't make up my mind, but now that you've seen everything for yourself, maybe you can help me decide. Number 8. Carly Steele of Carly Steele Vlogs is out running errands with her roommate Olivia, and all they have left to do is get a few items from the grocery store before going back home. Nothing special, right? Well, that's what they thought too, but they were wrong. They're talking about what to buy next when a stranger butts into their conversation and surprises them out by mumbling something at a close distance. What do you hear him say here? Hi. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, okay. I think he might be awkwardly introducing himself. Okay, okay. So that's pretty weird, but what's surprising is that, despite Carly Steele clearly showing no interest in walking away, they keep running into him. He won't stop following us, bro. bro he's not, he won't stop following us, and I'm scared. Uh, that's him. It will be all on camera. Oh my god. Cool. There he is. Right there. I mean, this is the grocery store after all, so it's not uncommon to see the same person in a few different aisles. But at one point they feel like they almost need to call 911. So if Carly Steele really did feel in that much danger at the time, then I do believe her. I just wanted to know if you do too. Number 7. Here's a video that I wouldn't be surprised is cursed, so consider yourself warned. 
Okay, it starts out with this creepy figure standing in the woods. I don't want to know what's buried under the snow. He holds his fingers up to his lips, telling us not to make a sound and certainly not to scream. After staring a while longer, a hole opens and this pig face creature stares at us from within. I'll only play a small sample because I'm sure this is riddled with really dark subliminal messages. So tell me what you hear and how this part makes you feel. Number 6. Justin of a YouTube channel named Limitless Outdoors is fishing when he decides to do an elk impression. From the hills comes an unmistakable rallying call to form a hunting pack. You'd think he would get out of there as fast as he can, but what he does next surprises me. <laughs> now would probably be a great time to stop making that noise, but Justin pushes his luck and gives away his position. The wolves get within about 10 meters. The leader pants with nervous excitement and looks around for backup. Justin stands his ground and they give up, all except for one. He manages to scare it off with a rock, but I think this decision could have provoked the wolf into charging. Especially if it landed, tell me if you agree. No less than four hungry wolves retreat, and hopefully no others are behind him. Number 5. A YouTuber named Fish and his friend Caden finds an old muddy path diverging from their neighborhood road. In the tall reeds hides a surprise that nobody could have seen coming. Holy crap! Holy crap! The person chasing them in all black seems to be their height rather than a full grown adult, so it's probably one of their friends. Though I suppose a neighborhood psychopath isn't completely out of the question. Number 4. David Dobrik and Natalie are surprised to see someone shady standing at the end of their street. Or should I say standing in their street. Not even the bright car headlights are enough to make him open his eyes. But the real surprise comes after Natalie jokingly says that he's going to wake up and look straight at them. Waiting for him to be like, I'm waiting, yeah, I'm waiting for him to turn. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! He's looking at us! They look scared, but they are both looking two different ways at the exact moment that this allegedly happens. I can't tell if he is really looking at them, or if he's just embellishing a little on that part. Tell me if his head is up, or if he's still asleep. It seems like the perfect story to make up for views, but based on what happens next, I think they were probably telling the truth all along. David's so petrified that he almost forgets to hit the gas. Oh what are you my. saying? David, please, 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 Oh my god. David, please, 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 I don't like that. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't okay. like They want nothing to do with someone who was passed out on their feet moments prior so they get away before he has a chance to pull their door open and do something even crazier than they've already witnessed, which I think was the right call. Number 3. A YouTuber named Ali Law and his crew think they're exploring an abandoned building when they see a shadowy figure straight away. Is that? But it's just a confused resident. This place isn't so abandoned after all. This is usually the part where they run away shouting, but this exchange is most surprising of all. Can we have a look around? Okay. For the camera, yeah? Yeah. The lower floors are really creepy and it makes no sense for anyone to be living here. They realize this place might be abandoned after all. And worse yet, they're now cornered. That's when they hear voices closing in. I don't know what's being said, tell me if you can make it out. But it doesn't sound like they're being hunted. I think they are especially close to being captured during these two parts. Can you hear They've almost escaped when one of the men pokes out the door and confronts them. He's not going to do anything in broad daylight, but everyone in Ali Law's group gets a feeling that they've escaped some terrible fate. 
They're gonna chop us up, aren't they? Translate what's being said here. Are they really talking about ending Ali's life like they suspect? Number two. Rick has a problem in his closet, the one directly under the attic, and here's the surprise. He opens the door, and the noises. are still there. Now, Rick swears that there's no animals, pipes, or anything else that can be making that noise. I think someone's lost their life here. The door is wide open and yet they are still struggling to get free. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit follow in the next 5 seconds? Because I post new scary videos every day. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A ghost hunter named Sam Gerwin sets out to determine if this bank in East Point, Michigan is as haunted as the neighborhood rumors say. He experiences technical difficulties shortly after pulling up. Oh, my GoPro just went out. Seriously. If this is fake, then he could have reached over and turned the camera off himself. This window is where a bank teller is said to have lost her life one day when someone took the money and ran. If you pull up late at night, you might just see her. At 2 minutes and 12 seconds, there's movement from behind this sign. A light anomaly of some kind that I can't identify. It almost looks like a hand, but it's way too small. Whatever it is, it disappears and never comes back, which I find to be all the more mysterious. 